Hey everybody, time for another Tech Tool Spotlight. Today we are talking about Microsoft Teams. Now for those of you who don't know, Teams first and foremost is the replacement for Skype for Business. Many small businesses have used Skype for Business for collaboration and mostly for chat um, to communicate between people in an organization. And they've gone and Microsoft has gone and replaced Skype for Business with Teams. And fortunately, Teams is so much more than just a chat application. It's it's really designed and built for collaboration among among employees and workers and specifically remote workers. It's it's a great tool and let's dive right in. So again, first and foremost, Teams is built for communication. It's more or less centered around the chat feature and functionality that they've got right here. So you can not only chat with individuals, but on the Teams page here, you can chat with your entire team, with your group, and really, and it really enhances collaboration. Um, to the chat functionality, it integrates perfectly with SharePoint. So you can collaborate on files. You can work together on on different documents and different files. Whatever your team is doing, it works with it works seamlessly with SharePoint and you can also add other cloud storage functionality as well. So if you have people in your team who are using Google Drive or you, you're using Dropbox, you can connect those to Microsoft Teams and share your files that way as well. Another feature that I love in, in Teams is the ability to make a real-time phone call or an audio call with somebody. So if you have something that needs a bit more than just a message to or to sit or to um, to explain what you need what you're trying to express, you can hit this button right here and start a, a, a chat and audio call with someone. In addition to the audio call with the desktop app, you can share your screen and do video calls as well. And I'll we'll show you that a little bit later. The other, another thing that I love about Teams is the integration with your Outlook calendar. So I don't have anything scheduled at the moment, but you can easily schedule a meeting with individuals, with your teams, or even with your channels, and which is great because you can have that as an open-ended meeting. If you need to, if you have a bunch of people in your, in your team, you don't want to specify individuals, you can select a particular channel to, to schedule a meeting with, and everyone can join online and you schedule it that way. Again, a great tool for people who have remote workers, who have remote employees, or work with contractors and freelancers to bring everyone together and get everyone on the same page and really collaborate and get done what you need to get done. Another tool or another functionality here, again, files you can see all the files that have been shared with your team right here. You can see the OneDrive that comes with your Office 365 account right here and access the files that you need and then share them with your team that way. If your team is, again, if your team is using SharePoint, you can see those files right in here and access your SharePoint, access your SharePoint files in your site, your team site, right from here in, in, in Microsoft Teams. And it's great because with Microsoft Teams, it's all in this one place. I know one thing I'm guilty of is having a ton of windows and tabs open and things getting lost and looking for. And I spend time clicking around through the different open windows that I have trying to find whatever I was working on. Microsoft Teams helps eliminate so much of that because it keeps it all in this one, one window right here and it keeps it organized. To me, anything that helps me stay organized is worth its weight in gold. Another thing that we that we've personally found with with clients that we've implemented Microsoft Teams for Microsoft Office 365 is the additional added functionality that's just a little bit hidden here. These three little dots right here expand 
this particular application so much that it's unbelievable. For example, if you use OneNote extensively for your notes, for your keeping your documents straight, it integrates right here. And it's just, it's, it, we talked to somebody today who didn't know that, who was, who used OneNote for their stuff, for, for notes for years, and didn't realize that it would, his notes would integrate with Microsoft Teams right here. And look, you click on it, and it's right here. It, it, it does, you don't even open a new tab. It's right there in the same tab, in the same window. It'll find your notebooks, and you can access them right there. You can share those notebooks with the other people in your team so they can add to them. Again, Microsoft Teams is about collaboration and communication and bringing, bringing your team together. And it, it's just wonderful. Um, again, <clears throat> Again, you've got Planner right here. So if in you've got Planner right here. So if in your Teams page you need a little more functionality that you weren't seeing from these particular tabs, you can open up Planner directly from Teams and add whatever you need to add to it. Te again, Teams is great because it keeps you organized. It keeps your team focused on what they need to be working on. This, for me personally, is huge because I can see everything, all the boards, all the tasks that I have coming up right in here, and I can stay focused on them. One of the other things that I love about Teams is that is it integrates with so much more than just Microsoft products. This right here, this More Apps, is so big. It's so incredible how far it can you can expand the functionality from this one application you can if you use Adobe sign to sign documents you can put that right in to teams so you can sign your documents right there so you don't have to go to another another um, you can put Adobe sign right there in teams so you don't have to go to another application to sign digitally sign your documents if you if for some reason you don't want to use Planner, you can use Trello. Here, I'll show you. Boom, right here. You can add that to Teams, sign in, and you get all of that functionality right there. It's amazing, again, how much this one application by Microsoft is centered around collaboration. And any small business owner knows collaboration is, is so important. Bringing your team together and keeping them on task and communicating. It, it's about sharing that information, share, keeping information from being centered in one person and shared with everyone. As you can see, Teams is a huge application. There's so much here, much more than I can cover in one video. So if there's some functionality that you're interested in that you want to know about, leave a comment below. I, I'm always looking to know what you guys are, what you guys want to learn. If you like what you hear, if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe, hit like, and hit that little bell so that you get notified the next time I upload another video. And if there's other tech tools that you guys use or that you're looking into and you want to know more about, let me know. Um, I'm always looking for new topics to cover for you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.